Hey guys, it's Michelle here and this is my makeup look for today and the look that I'm doing for you guys it's a New Year's Eve inspired makeup tutorial look so uh, if I was going to be going out this New Year's Eve I don't think I'll be going out I will be staying in so uh, I want to go ahead and create a look for you guys now the look that I created is a cut crease uh, purple eyeshadows lilac colors and a little bit of glitter so um, if you guys want to see how I completed the look just stay tuned and watch the video and thank you guys for watching and subscribing so I start off by using the eyeshadow base and I'm using soft ochre by Mac and I'm applying this all over my lids and this will help to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing I'm also applying this on my bottom lash line Next I'll be using a dark uh, burgundy eyeshadow color and I'm going to be applying this in my crease. Now I'm using an angle brush to create a cut crease. So all I'm doing is just following my crease. Next go ahead and use your angle brush and just blend the eyeshadow upwards. And now I'm using my 217 blending brush just to blend out the crease color and I'm going back and forth windshield wiper motion. Next take any purple eyeshadow color you have. I'm using a loose pigment grape by MAC and I'm applying this above the crease. So I'm applying this with a fluffy blending brush. Next I'm applying a lilac color onto my lens and I'm using a flat shader eyeshadow brush to apply this and you just want to make sure you don't go above the crease and I'm just packing the eyeshadow on time to add some shimmer so I'm using a makeup forever diamond powder and I'm going to be applying this on top of the lilac shadow and I'm using the same flat shader brush to do so now I'm going back into that dark burgundy eyeshadow using my angle brush I'm going to reapply this to my crease just to darken up the cut crease and make it more defined and once you have that done just go ahead and pull the eyeshadow upwards and then use your blending brush to blend the colors together. Now you just want to blend this until you're comfortable with the way it looks. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and highlight the inner corner of my eyes using a loose pigment by MAC and I'm also using a crease, small crease blender brush just to apply this. And now I'm going back into the same dark burgundy color and I'm just applying this along my bottom lash line. Going back into my purple pigment, I'm just applying this on the bottom lash line and I'm using a crease blender brush to do so. So I'm just blending the burgundy with the purple. Okay, so go ahead and apply your favorite black eyeliner pencil. I'm going to apply this on my bottom waterline and also on the top. Now go ahead and apply your favorite black liner. I'm using a gel liner and I'm applying this on my top lash line using a small liner brush to do so. Now I'm really sorry that I didn't get to film that part while I was doing that. I thought I was filming but I actually wasn't. My camera was actually off. Let's apply our highlight color. Now I'm using Rice Paper by MAC and I'm applying this at the highest point of my brow bone using a oval blender brush to do so. Apply your favorite mascara. I'm applying mine on my top lashes and also repeating the same steps for the bottom lashes. Falsies for this look is completely optional. However, I will be applying falsies, so I'm just going to apply my falsies and I'll be right back. Now I'm just blending out the uh, bottom lash line color with my crease blender brush. I'm applying a bright deep berry color blush on the highest point of my cheekbone and I'm using a blush brush to do so. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my lipstick and I'm using a pink shade color and the color, the lipstick that I'm using, it has a matte finish and I'm using Pink Plaid by MAC. 
I'm also using a lip brush to apply my lipstick and this is perfect for precision. applying a sparkly apricot shade uh, lip gloss this one is beer necessity by Mac and I'm just applying this all over my lips and here I am awkwardly posing for the camera and the look is now complete thank you guys so much for watching my New Year's Eve makeup look and thanks for subscribing bye